Hey, Keeks. Hi. Oh, we catch some fish today? Yeah. What'd you catch today? Crappies, bluegills? We got eight. We got eight sunfish. crappies, eight yeah. sunfish. And then we and four got four crappies so far. All right. So we've been using some silkies today. I'll tell you what, uh, silkies are nothing new to the ice fishing industry. They've been out for a couple of years now. Uh, they were all the craze. Everyone's chatting about them. People are still using them a ton. I wanted to talk about how I really use a silky in my arsenal of ice fishing. Uh, for starters, first and foremost, I do a lot of guiding. I have four young kids. Uh, well, I shouldn't say young. Jack's bigger than me now. But Callie's my youngest. And uh, why do you like the silky so much? Because it makes it so... You don't want to touch the disgusting maggots. So she doesn't have to touch the disgusting maggots. So we're on a bite today where there's a lot of little bluegills and crappies just schooling up and moving around. She doesn't have to worry about maggots. She can just put a silky on. So all we're doing here uh, for her setup is I'm taking the silky, which I think everybody is aware of what that is at this point. And that's my this is Callie's rod. She's just got a noodle rod. We caught a bunch of fish over there. You did caught a, bu caught a bunch of fish right there. Noodle rod, three pound test line. We got a little number 12 drop kick on there. And all we're doing with her setup so that she can stay in the water and active, as I'll show you here. I'm threading that silky on just like this. And that's what we're doing. I'm just taking it just like so. So when that's in the water, those silky tentacles just kind of flop around. And then like you were, like she was saying, you don't have to get all the maggots anymore, do you? No. Nope, she just drops the silky down. That gets dispersed in the water and that's been a great way for her to catch fish. And uh, they're very, very resilient. So she can catch a bunch of fish without having to rebait or mess around or put on a new plastic. This silky is, unless we find Mr. Pike, right? Yes. If you find Mr. Pike, they like these. But unless you find Mr. Pike, this one silky will work all day. So you can see I have a nip hook there. Sometimes if they're more aggressive, I will slide this up onto the base, more exposed hook, that system. So that's kind of how we're fishing it there for, for the kiddos, for the bluegills, for the crappies. Again, we're weeding through some fish, trying to find a few larger ones, not messing with the live bait, not worrying about plastics coming undone. Um, getting crooked, getting all that kind of stuff bent up where she may not be as apt on how to handle that. Silky is king in that situation. Here, hold your rod. That's yours. Here, I'll set that right here. That's Callie's whooping stick. The other ways I like to fish a silky is I actually tip them on my tika minnows. I put a silky on that bottom treble hook. That just gives a little more added attraction, a little more appeal, almost a feathery look, except for that silk in the water really dances, really tantalizes those fish. So if I get a fish to come in, whether it's a pike, a bass, a walleye, perch, crappie, whatever it is, I like to fish the tika minnow a lot. That little dance, that little silky down there can entice those fish to bite. They come in fast and they don't want that rip and fall approach that this tika minnow is so famous for. I can add that silky right onto that bottom treble hook. So a lot of ways to fish the silky. As you know, I'm a big pinhead, no bait, but I will sometimes put that silky on that pinhead. It does slow the fall a little bit, but the silky for me gets a lot of nods on the panfish jig, especially for clients when we're trying to weed through finicky fish, trying to get some bigger fish, or if I get somebody like Keeks who doesn't want to touch maggots, which is okay, definitely give the silky a try. There you go. Should we go catch some more fish? Yes. All right, let's go. Are you going to catch a big one? Who's catching the biggest fish today? I caught the first fish. You caught the first fish. All right, get out there and try the silky if you haven't already. Great yes. addition to your arsenal. Okay, you don't have to touch disgusting maggots. Callie says no maggots.